morning and welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo. Glad to have you with us. Their number one goal is to help parents build stronger families, and they've been doing it for more than 30 years. The international nonprofit organization Parenting Journey has focused on partnering with parents to develop the inner strength, the life skills, and the networks of resources these families need in order to be able to succeed. And guess what? Their headquarters is located right here in the state of Massachusetts to tell us more about Parenting Journey and Parenting in America, which directly discusses the challenges that immigrant parents face here in the U.S. With us this morning, our Parenting Journey's Executive Director, Imari Paris Jeffries, and Clinical and Program Director, Ellie Zambrano. Good morning. Good morning. Did I say those names correctly? Did, They're a did. mouthful. They are. We have the longest names ever. <laughs> I think there's 72 but, letters. But guess what? I can't, I can't say that. It's Yadires Nova Salcedo. It's a, a big mouthful, too. About 120 letters between the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy to have you guys here because when I found out about Parenting Journey, uh, you guys have been around for more than 30 years, specifically 35, and I had not heard about you guys. Why? What's going on? Well, I, I tell people we're the best organization you never heard of. <laughs> and so we started off as the family center uh, focused on family therapy. We were a, a mental health clinic. And I think as we were doing the work, we realized that uh, the most important thing that we could do for our community, for our city and our state is focus on families. And so we have evolved from an outpatient mental health clinic mm -hmm. to an organization that unapologetically focuses on families. So how do you guys do it? I think our main focus is understanding what strengths families bring, you know, to each other and how that can help them face challenges that we all face day to day. I think parents are struggling and we need to look at the way we look at parenting and how we judge people about parenting mm -hmm. and really start to help people focus on their own inner strengths and then to also help them access supports that they have within their own family and their community so that they can overcome the challenges that we face when raising our kids here. Yes. So you guys work, I mean, internationally. It is amazing the amount of work that you guys do, but the headquarters is right here in Somerville. In Somerville. Correct? In Somerville. Okay. And uh, here at a local level, how has that been, you know, your whole mission? It, you know, it's been phenomenal. You know, I think um, a lot of people have heard about us word of mouth. Uh, we started off just focusing uh, our programming in English, and so now we are focused in four languages, Haitian Creole, Portuguese, and Spanish. And so we, we've see a lot of people from a lot of different nationalities, different ethnicities, different languages. Yes. Uh, there's a universality of being in a family, being a parent or being parented. 100% of us either were or are parents yes. or were or are parenting. Um, so it's a common experience that unites all people. Yeah, and you would say, Imari, I mean, a parent is a parent. It doesn't really, you know, matter, right, what race and ethnicity. And I am so happy to hear the fact that you guys have decided to include the Spanish version So of everything that you guys do. So tell us a little bit more about the Spanish side of things. Sure. Um, so back in 2005, we started to see changes in the community. Um, our sort of lead curriculum development experts at the organization had identified a growing Latino population and in the Somerville area and wanted to address some of the stresses that they're facing specifically around parenting here in America. Yes. And so we developed a 12-week curriculum called Parenting in America and the focus is to really help individuals who are raising their children here but are bringing customs, rituals, habits, traditions um, from other experiences about being raised outside of the U.S. and how can they really hone in on those strengths and help to face... Keep what they have and then still... Have. But, but understand the acculturation yeah. process and get some tips on how to work through differences in understanding the way that children are effectively parented. Yes. Not to take away the style or sort of what is true to their family, but to help to give more resources and build on that. And I'm guessing, I mean, because you guys have been so you know, successful at doing what you guys have been doing for 35 years, you're just adding on to what you guys are used to doing already, correct? That's right. Um, you know, we, we believe that there are systemic things that hold families back um, in those things uh, when they prevent families like pay inequity, like housing inequity, like uh, the inability to engage in our country. When families are not able to bond uh, with each other, they're not able to bond with their neighbors. And when they're not able to connect with their neighbors, they can't engage in their community. And when they can't engage in their community, 
they can't vote and they don't. And so there is a correlation between systemic things that hold families back from connecting mm -hmm. with each other yes. and voting. And so we, we believe that um, uniting families is a social justice issue and the fabric of uh, a thriving democracy and a thriving city and region. Thank you so much, both of you, for coming by. And thank you so much for coming up with this program because basically you're meeting the community's needs. And uh, thank you so much for doing that. Thank, thank you, you so much. Okay. Now for more information on the different programs and services this parenting journey offers you can call them at 617-628-8815 you can also get a direct link to their website and their social media pages visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash saint and like every week we want to remind you that you can get more information on today's show and our past shows you can watch both the english and the spanish versions of centro on our website if you have time visit us right now if not come back later for more of centro we also want you to connect with us online like us on facebook and follow us on twitter and instagram I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next time.